what search engines do you use in your daily lives? Which ones <laughs> okay. do you use? Um, I use a lot of different search engines because pretty much in all of my different web browser profiles that I have, and I have like five or six, I think I have a different search engine in every one. But for the most part, I usually use um, DuckDuckGo, I think, in like my main browsing. Um, I have one set up for Start Page. I have one set up for Brave Search. Um, those are probably the second and third most, but mainly DuckDuckGo is what I use. And that's my search engine on my phone as well. Nice. Nice. Yeah. DuckDuckGo is not bad, I think. Um, I typically go for Brave Search on my end. So I'm still using Brave Search since that video I made on this topic. Mm -hmm. And the only time I do use DuckDuckGo is uh, so people who also saw my digital minimalism video and see how I use my devices will know that will probably understand why I don't actually open my browser normally. Normally, I'll go into Spotlight Search, type in my web request, and then just click Enter, and it opens in my web browser automatically. The only thing that's annoying is that opens the URL via the, the default search engine of the operating system on Apple devices, for example. So you can't mm -hmm. set Brave Search as your default search engine on Apple devices in the operating system. So when that happens, it actually goes through DuckDuckGo. So if I go in my Spotlight Search, what's the weather in New York today? And I click Go, it's going to open in DuckDuckGo, even though my default search engine in the browser is Brave Search, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that is of, the reason I use it on my phone as well. So <laughs> yeah, not it's yeah, so kind of frustrating. It'd be cool if Apple let you do custom search engines built into the operating system, but I can't even envision them doing that. So 